Day two, it's dark as you can see, got out here. Uh, kind of moved my shack over just a bit here, I'll show you. Yesterday I was fishing over in here, some of my waypoints from previous years. But because I was here in the fall, I did some charting here. And I like this little nook right here. So obviously it's not complete, but I'm gonna kind of tuck into this little nook. Just a little bit more of a travel route, come up from the deeper water maybe, or even off this flat. But we're gonna try right here today. It's not that far from where I just was, probably about, I'd say 30 yards. We'll get set up here and uh, get at her at 6.30 here. Sun's up at 8.30 or something, so we got a couple hours before the light, but it takes a little bit to get set up. Let's get to her. Here we go, mark on me right now. Come by me, come on. Go above him. Big mark. Come on, big mark. Maybe I'll go to the dead stick. Come on, I'm ready for you. Here we go, come on, pound it. Oh, come on. Why aren't you hitting that? Big mark again. I have marked some tanks so far this morning. Oh, it's the whole bottom's just red right now. Here he comes. As if you, how can you come that fast and not smoke it? Oh, he hardly grabbed it. I don't think it's a very big fish. There's another one down there. There was two marks actually. But it's the first fish of the day. It's a good sign. It's a bourbon again. Am I gonna really get into the burbot again? The burbs? Well, my first fish yesterday was a nine and a half pound walleye, and today is a slimy burbo. Back down you go, Ooh, without wrecking anything. Oh, dead stick. There we go, there we go. Dead stick just went off. That's a good sign. I haven't, maybe this will be my first walleye of the day. Slow start for me. No, another burb. What is going on with the burbs? I don't want the burbs. Just nailing the burbs. Burb is the word. You're not having the spoon at all today. I'm gonna try an active jig in a minnow and a dead stick jig in a minnow. Okay. I've been marking some absolute bruisers this morning. I just can't get them to bite. So I took off the PK spoon, went to just a jig and a minnow. So I got an active jig and a minnow and I got the dead stick on that side. We'll see right now, I got a test right now. Fish coming at me. There we go. Man, I switched to, the, to a jig and a minnow from the spoon. Wow, this fish is going crazy. This fish just darted right back, right up at me. This fish is going crazy. It's kind of... I want to, I want to say it feels like another burbot, but I want to, I want to... Positive vibes that it's a walleye. Oh, it's a big walleye. It's a big walleye. It's a big walleye. It's big. Big walleye. I just saw the tails, all I saw, and it looked really big. I don't, I don't know how big. I'm getting a little excited right now, but it looks big. I just saw the tail again. It looks pretty big. Spencer, can't talk right now. I'll call you back a little bit, fighting a big fish. My heart's racing. Oh, it's big. Come on, come on. Come on, oh, it's big. It's big, it's big, it's big. It's coming up, oh, come on. Come up the hole, come up the hole, come up the hole. Yes, 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 come on, I got you, I got you. Yes! Oh, I'm so low. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Yes! <laughs> oh, yes. Mon 
monster. I just got my 10 pounder. I can go home. Kidding, I'm not leaving. Look at that, just switched up to a jig and a minnow. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was texting with one of my friends, Curtis, and he said that he's having luck on a jig in the middle this morning. We got 30 inches. Final measurement, 12, yeah, 12.08. 12 12.08. 12 pounder, baby. 12 pounder. Oh, we're gonna get it back quick. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. 12 pounder all day. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Love it. But my favorite part, releasing these bad boys. <laughs> yes, let's get her back. Yes. Oh, so fired up. Bam! 12 pounder, 30 incher. Man, that was a big fish. Oh, now I'm really ready not having the jig on earlier because I was marking some bruisers. When I finally got this one to go, oh, did it bite a bit hard. Yes. That fish bit so light, like so light. Just come up and hardly grabbed it. Now it's got some weight and big violent head shakes. It's a pretty good walleye. It's a big walleye. That fish came up fast. I didn't think it was this big at first. The mark looked giant. But I didn't think it was that big. Now he's going back down a bit. And he kind of came up with the... He came up, look at him run. This is a big fish. Such a light bite. Like, so, so finicky. Look at this. Right back down to the bottom. Oh. It's another big fish. It's another big fish. He come right up to the hole and, you know, really fast. I didn't think it was that big. And all of a sudden kind of stopped it once and gave some violent head shakes. I knew right then. I was like, okay, hey, this is definitely a bigger fish. Oh. Yeah, this is another big fish. Not, I don't know if it's quite as big as last fish, but it's big. I just jammed my knee pretty good. Oh, it's it's 28 plus. Back up a bit. No, see, when they get really close to the hole, don't force them. Guide them around slowly. Let them kind of do their thing. And once you see their head line up, then give them a little bit of a tug straight up. See, was fish almost, but I didn't want to horse it. Didn't want to... Oh, it's a good fight, really good fight. Big fish, come backwards, backwards. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, come in. Oh, baby. I'm gonna untangle this other, get the hook out here real quick. Nice, untangle this other line really fast. And there we go, big chunky one. <laughs> yes, this fish is like not super long, but it's super, super fat. So chunky, beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. There she goes. Awesome, two walleyes this morning. That fish just shot straight back down to the bottom. Two fish this morning, two walleye this morning. They're both big, sick. Like I said, that fish hardly bit. Such a light bite. Oh, big mark charged me, yes. That was a pretty good mark. It just come up and just charged me. Wow, that was, and when he come up and hit it, it actually put slack in my line. He just put his whole mouth over the bait. Jeez, this is my third walleye of the day, and this is no slouch of a fish. It's not as big as the first two I caught today. What a fun fight, holy Murphy. They just, 
There's my line. Somebody called me out on that the lot my last video. They said, wouldn't be a Clayton Schick video without Holy Murphy. Well, I just said it. This is a de pretty decent fish. Oh, oh, where are you going? You know what? I thought I was wrapped in my other line, but oh I am. Okay. Let's open my bail and my other rod so I don't lose my rod. Nice fish. Look at that guy. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Yes. Not a really fat fish. Pretty long though. Good fish. <laughs> awesome. It's like my, like I said, whoa, easy girl. My third walleye of the day. That's a nice fish. Came up super, super fast at the bait. Like just, just hammered it. So I just moved locations here. Uh, something I'll show you what I'm kind of doing here because I'm fishing a little bit of current is, I don't know how this is going to turn out here in the, so I got, I got three holes. I got fish, fish hole one, fish hole two, and then my transducer hole. I got a little bit of current, so I'm drilling my other hole just a little bit further away. And it also is better too for when I'm fighting fish. I don't have to mess around with the transducer. So it's something really good to do if you have a little bit of current in your water, and which I do right now. So change locations. It's day two, midday. Great uh, time so far. I've got 28, 29, 30. Lots of 25, 26s. Today's been a little bit slower but it could pick up yet here today for sure. I have no idea how this looks. It's probably really dark, but we're gonna go with it. Big baits, big fish, right? Walleyes, walleyes are a predator fish. Little walleye, big bait. Look at that, it's like, it's like half his size. He thought he was gonna eat this and he probably could have if it wasn't fake. Walleyes are predator fish. Sometimes big aggressive baits will catch you big aggressive walleyes well i'm starting to think my move maybe wasn't the best idea just kidding that's crazy that's four fish that are like the size of my palm of my hand rattle bait's only half its size <laughs> i'm having a uh, quite the afternoon with these smaller fish right now but I am catching fish though compared to yesterday in the evening so maybe the bite's gonna turn on yet this fish uh, committed to the rattle bait pretty quickly and still sticking with the rattle bait and the, the jig oh let's get on the dead stick yep little guy in the dead stick now they are small I keep thinking I'm gonna wrap it up and head out. It's way past dark already. I'm getting some smaller marks here and there, but I think I'm gonna do a little wrap up here, shut the flasher off, don't look anymore, pack her up, get back out early tomorrow. It's been a morning bite for me for sure. I've caught some nice fish today, not a pile of them, but a 30, a 28, about a 25, 26, a bunch of smaller ones, uh, a bunch more bourbon again, things were good. I'm not sure how this video still is all turning out. I hope this isn't too boring. Uh, it's really tough confined in a little area like this, this little shack. But uh, I try to toss in a few knowledge things here and there as I go. So thanks for watching. Day three coming up soon.